guys, Steven here with another episode of my display tutorial series. Uh, today we're going to hook up a, uh, a small calculator to our, uh, I guess, the ultimate decoder, the super decoder, which will allow us to uh, do math and display the answer on our screen that we built. So first I'm going to show you the component we're going to use to do this and then kind of explain it. I gave a tutorial on this. This is called a full adder. This right here is a, a one-bit full adder, and uh, give a tutorial on it. I'm going to explain it, and I'll show you how to build one, but I'm not going to go too much into detail because I, I do have a video on this that I'll link. Basically, uh, the full adder takes two inputs, A, which will always be the left one for me just to keep it straight, and B, and it adds them together. So we can give this any kind of you know redstone signal, and uh, this is a binary adder, though. So I'm going to show you exactly what that means in a minute. But we have four uh, signals that we, or really five signals that we care about with this. The inputs, A and B. The carry in, which is the um, carry out from our last one. And I'll get to the, what that means in a minute. The sum and the carry out. So our inputs are A, B, and carry in. And our outputs are sum and carry out. And uh, by putting the sum and carry out together kind of side by side, we have our answer to the addition. So a lot of people are confused about the concept of carries, so I put together some examples here. Um, so keep in mind, the sum is the smaller part of your answer. It's always the rightmost when you're writing the numbers, and the carry is large. It's, it's always larger than the sum. You can't have, uh, I don't think you can have a carry that's smaller than your sum. So the maximum sum in decimal numbers is nine, like the that's the most uh, numbers or the the highest answer you can get from adding two numbers together, uh, the right hand portion, and the carry in decimal is always ten when you're dealing with uh, the first digit. Then it's a hundred, then it's a thousand, you know, and so on. So we're talking about just adding small numbers. Carry is always ten. So here's an example. Uh, we have five plus six, which is eleven, of course. So five and six, a and b, a and b. And we get 11 as the answer. Now the sum I said was the right hand part, so that's 1. So our sum is 1, and our carry is 10. And if we add them together, we get 11. But you can see that uh, our carry and sum are equal in this case in digits. However, the right hand portion, portion is only 1, and the left hand portion stands for 10 when you add them together. So our carry is always larger than our sum. Alright, so let's look at another example. 6 and 7, 13. We got A and B, and then our our answer is 13, which is stupid pig. Uh, oh yeah, I have a cool new skin. It's a redstone man. Anyway, so our sum is three, which is the right hand portion, and then we can't fit the rest of the answer in the sum, so we use the carry. That's one. But one here stands for 10, so our answer is 13. 10 plus three. So in binary, the maximum sum you can have, the maximum right hand portion, is a one. The maximum carry you can have is a two, but we don't we don't use the number two in binary. We use uh, you know the binary representation of two, which is one zero. So the, again, the carry is always larger than the sum, and this depends on the digit. For the first digit, the sum is always equal to one, or the maximum sum is equal to one, and maximum carry is equal to two. But for the second digit, the sum is equal to maximum, or yeah, maximum sum is equal to two, and the uh, maximum carry or the carry out is always four and, and it just keeps doubling just like how this goes up by uh, multiples of 10 this will go up by multiples of two so here's some basically all of the uh, combinations we can have for single digits in uh, binary zero plus zero is zero zero plus one is one one plus one is two but we write that as one zero see the sum is zero and the carry is one but in this case one stands for two and then the biggest we can have with one full adder is 1 plus 1 plus 1, a, b, carry in, equaling 3. And this is the sum, 2, this is the carry, 1, adding to make 3. So, that being said, we're going to chain all these together. We're going to have the carry in of the very first one be nothing, just empty, uh, and we'll use this for subtraction later, but for now we're just going to do addition. And then the carry out of the, the, of the first one will go into the carry in of the second one. And then the sums will all feed into our uh, our decoder, and as well as the carry out of the last one. So let's go label these lines for what values they could be. We said the these are going to be the sums, okay? So we said the sum of the first one, the maximum sum we can have is 1. 
then if we double that, the maximum sum we can have for this one, this line is two. Maximum sum we can have for this line is four, and our last line will be eight. But this is gonna be our final carry out so we don't lose our answer, okay? So let's get building. Uh, I just installed the new uh, too many items, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't have single player commands on here yet because the new beta's out. And uh, I decided not to do a video about it just because so many other people are. Um, so I'm going to build this kind of far away so that we have room to build everything. But afterwards we can see if we built it too far or not. So this is the same as in my uh, tutorial video. So I'm not going to go too far in depth explaining it. Uh, we're building the one from... I forget if this is on the forums or the wiki or what. But... Uh, this. Anyways, these are really simple and pretty handy. And you can use them in, in circuits and things. It's just uh, it's hard to think of too many practical applications besides addition, I guess. <laughs> anyway. This is everybody's favorite part. The awkward looking uh, creeper and or wiener right here. So I think we put it like here, 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 yeah. So this is our sum right here. And of course right now it's just displaying garbage. Uh, put this, this. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to do this. I'm just building. It doesn't really matter what I'm doing here. Just, you know, copy it. Oh no, it's getting nighttime. I don't have the day command right now, so I have to use a bed. Can only sleep. Are you serious? What? What do you call that? Aw, oh, come on, man. That's ridiculous. Redstone man angry. There we go. Okay, back to it. So yeah, we can put some here, and then over here we raise this up. Oops, raise this up one. Throws it on top, block off the beginning, like that. And then on the end here, I believe we do, I believe we block off, um, hmm, I always forget. Oh yeah, I have a diagram. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so we block off this one, and this one. And then our carry in is going to come, or sorry, carry out is going to come from right here. Carry in will come from this side into this torch right here. And I think that might be it. Let's test it and see. We've got one input, no sum. Okay, so we're missing something. Right, 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 right. What is it? You can tell I haven't made one of these in a little while. Oh, right. You need another uh, torch under each of these guys right here. There we are. So, sum is one. Carry out. Oh, carry out's on this side at zero. And if we add another torch, we get carry out is one. So, our one plus one is two. One, zero. And then we'll test our final condition. One plus one plus one is three. This standing for one, this standing for two. Remember, this is our carry, and this is our sum. So what we should do now is, uh, this is going to be our first carry in. So we'll leave it isolated for now until we hook up our subtractor. We're going to put uh, levers here to do our inputs. We're going to wire them up to a control panel later. And this will lead into our next uh, device. Let me make sure that this will uh, activate it if I put it this close. I just want to see how close I can put these things together. Yeah, that activates. Good. So we'll build the next one starting at this block. So let's wire this up to our uh, decoder. Just going to go straight ahead and bend it. 
and I don't know if the signal's going to reach, so let's try putting one, putting a torch here, and see if it reaches. Oh, it doesn't. Crap. Okay. So we'll just put a uh, resin repeater going into the base like that, then it reaches. So now we're able to answer, or have any numbers in our uh, display between 0 and 1. So <laughs> not that many, but we'll get more and more each time we add one of these in there. So uh, I'm going to go build the rest of these, and uh, then I'll, I'll do the hooking up part with you, though. So actually, let's start on the next one so you can kind of see what to do, but you're going to have to finish it because it's pretty simple. So you build the right side. It's exactly the same as this one. I'm just going to copy the whole thing. But yeah, so this will be the base like we had, and then the next one will go here, and so on. And then, remember, you just connect them all with these. So, yeah, I'm going to build these, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, uh, I'm finished here, I think, unless I left something out. Uh, I got my three adders together. I only did three because, remember, our last carry out is going to go into uh, our final position because otherwise we would lose uh, our final digit. That'd be like if you had a calculator that only went up to 99, but you had an answer that was like 150. Then you wouldn't be able to see every, you know, anything over 100 you couldn't see. But if you're adding two numbers together that are two digits, there are many answers which are over 100. Like 50 plus 51 is over 100. So the uh, all the B inputs I made blue, and all the A inputs I made purple. So these three make up the B inputs. We can have anything between 0 and 7. And the same goes for the A inputs. So let's go wire up the rest of the uh, sums and carries. So we got our first one going over there. This one over to here. And I'm going to um, turn this on so I can see where I need to put a repeater. I'll just do it at the base again because it's not going to interfere with anything. And then this guy, I'm going to bring him into here, and let's check, repeater check, yeah, so right there. And then finally, we'll take the uh, last carry out, which in our case is worth 8, okay, because it's 2 to the third power, into here. I'm just going to do a check to make sure we can get it to reach. So I'll put it here to be safe. I think that should do it. I don't know, though. Let's get an answer with a carry out and see if it reaches. Nope, didn't reach. I'm going to put it sooner. There we go. So there will be a little bit of delay in this thing, but not too bad. So we've got all of our stuff hooked up. Um, unfortunately, the way I designed this, for now, we're not going to have the control panel in the front of the display for a little while, because, uh, I don't know why I did this. Really, you want to build this thing kind of going straight back. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess it makes it easier for wiring some of it together, but, well, eventually we'll build a control panel out around the front. Or maybe I'll just move it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, people. So... Uh, night again. Anyway, so let's do an example, and uh, let me get some signs real quick. And, okay, so for the example, we'll do, um, let's see here, 5 plus 6 like we had before, where 5 is 101, which is 4 plus 1, and 6 is 110, which is 4 plus 2. So we expect to get uh, 11, which is going to be 8 plus 3. Plus two plus one, okay. And uh, but we don't really need to worry about the binary because now we have this guy. So we'll do uh, one zero. Oh, hang on. B is going to be six, so we'll do one one zero. And then A is one zero oh, one, okay. Oh yeah, and eleven. I should say, since our answer is going to be in hexadecimal because of our decoder. 11 is the letter B. That's what we expect to see. And I'm running over here so you can see that I'm not like 
you know, cheating and putting in the right answer or whatever. So we get the letter B. 5 plus 6 is B, which in our case means 11, because remember A is 10, so B is 11. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. In the next episode, we're going to hook up um, subtraction to it, and I'm going to explain again how subtraction works. And then further, we're going to add a couple more of these displays so we can have really, really big numbers and any other features that you guys uh, request. So please request things if you don't understand them. Feel free to read up on Wikipedia about uh, Boolean algebra, things like that, binary arithmetic, to understand the theory behind the full adder. But I believe that is it for us today. So thank you for watching.